DVD. His name is Ronnie Duvall. <laughs> Dear Mr. Duvall, I've loved you from the moment I knew what light was. Saved your vinyl from the frisbee fate that awaited the others. I learned your raps. Can name all the songs Johnny, Bobby, Ricky, Mike, or Ralph ever let you sing on. Still, I wasn't enough for you. Too young for you. Too unfamous for you. Stars do not fall for fans. Fans only know one side of stars, and you are multidimensional. The father of a Cabbage Patch doll you never even knew existed. Maury won't run paternity tests on dolls, but I know the truth. She has your eyes. Hers never blink either. I never considered you a pretty face. I knew you were more than that. You made skinny sweats fashionable. Green acceptable. You showed genuine concern for Ralph and Kula now. I believed your rap was from the heart. I wanted to be in your heart. I wept for you when you held back tears and sniffled in Mr. Telephone Man. I would never hang up on you. You didn't lead by vocal. You led by example. Picked and chose what songs you wanted to sing lead on, like singing the first verse of any heartbreak or all of Gangster, which most just called the song that BBD sung on Fresh Prince. I cared enough to learn the name. I can do the dance sequence from If It Isn't Love. If that ain't love, I don't know what is. You were a musical Scotty Pippen. Bobby couldn't have been Bobby without you. Ralph would have just been the lead singer guy with the cricket teeth. BBD would have just been BB. You saved Blue Edition from being a quartet. BBD from being a duo. I know it was a thankless job, so I thank you for doing it. Despite your many accomplishments, you are not without fault. The cutoff shirt you wore with the words do me written across it in the She's Dope video. You're implying you ran a train on a loser in Poison. Your choice of haircut for the duration of your career. I know that was the peer pressure. I loved you past all of that. I knew you were unattainable. Most stars are. I knew you wouldn't wait for me. That even when my star outshines yours, and trust me, it will. We can never be together. Some obstacles simply cannot be overcome, like status and age. Imagine my surprise upon learning that these weren't obstacles to you at all. That your wife is a no-talent hack the same age as me with eyes too big for her face and weak. I wear my real hair, Ronnie. Is she the reason you never returned any of my 1,876,534 fan letters? Does she know your birthday as well as she knows her own? We have the same birthday, Ronnie. There is no better superficial bond than that. Is she a candy girl? Can she stand the rain? Did she watch you and your friends go from boys to men? Probably not. She is probably just a big butt and a smile. You know, the type of woman you can't trust. You can trust me, Ronnie. I'm still in love with you. Your number one fan, Better yet, your number one Ron, Deidre, PPS, I'm hopelessly devoted to you. Is your wife this clever? I think not. <laughs> <laughs>